Hey guys. I know. Hang on. <laughs> Some of you guys on my uh, Discord have told me that you actually <laughs> like the Mario clap. So I'm like, what the heck? Uh, not at this desk. Other desk right there is doing its other thing. Three printers are going burr. Um, just doing this video really to give you guys a content uh, heads up as to what's going on. Let me just angle this down a little bit. There we go. A little uh, uh, content uh, heads up as to what is going on with the channel. I have no idea why I said on like that, but I did. I've got some models on the bench that are going to be getting ready to be added into some painting streams. This is why I'm over here setting up the table everything else. I have, in fact, moved all of the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, moved all of the uh, um, um, paints and stuff off my desk. Just brief, briefly show you. This is uh, pretty much what this video is about. This is a USB microscope. Uh, this is one I got off of Amazon. Uh, it cost me about £16. I know you get what you pay for. Um, it's not bad. But you need a microscope to read the bloody instruction manual. This thing is tiny. And I'm wearing glasses and I'm still having a hard time. But I've got it working, got the drivers installed, got it all working. Turns out it was a USB port problem with my brand new, I might add, my brand new uh, 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 um, gaming rig, okay? Which is, uh, it uh, doesn't have the correct USB port, an OTG port. Uh, which basically means it has to be an old ancient port USB 1.1 uh, 1.0 to 1.1 if it's newer than that the ports not that the, this, this device will not be uh, uh, um, The device in question will not work Which to me doesn't make sense because um, The reason why it it, it, it doesn't make uh, um, any sense to me is because this I like the device, get what you pay for. Ground, rule of thumb is you get what you pay for, okay? I will be doing a lot of electronics videos uh, coming up here for you guys. I've got a whole bunch of cosplay stuff coming in the post, one of which is my Boba Fett helmet. As you guys know, I do, uh, I'm part of the Mandalorian Mercs. If you didn't know, well, now you do. I am part of the Mandalorian Mercs. Uh, my, man, my, my bounty hunter's name is <laughs> Von Card Krell, okay? And he is an interesting character. I've played this Mandalorian bounty hunter, oh God, now for almost 15 years, 16 years. No, longer than that, 20 plus years, I've played Von Kar Krell. Um, half, Mandalorian, half Mandalorian, half Chisk. So yes, I've got, technically got a blue sheen to my skin, and I do have the red eyes of a Chisk, but guns are my religion um anyway long story short about the character is i'm working on doing the cosplay for him the physical cosplay for him so that i can go to london comic-con and just walk around have my camera take pictures things of that nature but also do some charity events namely i want to do a lot of like uh uh uh, uh mando merc uh, Mando uh, marches, things of that nature, for charity. Uh, maybe even contact a charity organization, get one of their badges, have it around my neck, so walk around Reading if people want to have their pictures taken with a Mandalorian bounty hunter, they can. And all I ask is that they donate some loose change into a little buck or a, a, into a, a cup that, that Grogu will have. Yes, I will be having my own little, well, not, it's not Grogu per se, but it's a Grogu esque uh, character that uh, 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 my character uses um, as his little companion, so to say. And so, long story short, the reason why I got this is because I'm going to be doing a lot of electronics projects coming up here soon, as you guys know, if you've watched me, my, twi uh, uh, my Twitch stream slash YouTube stream. Um, namely, what I'm planning on doing is I've got a whole bunch of Raspberry Pi, uh, Pi Picos on order. 
and one of them is going to be on my wrist here uh, as part of my gauntlet it's going to power up a few LEDs and, and whatnot and stuff like that but also there's going to be a small little LCD screen uh, on my wrist here and the project is uh, my Mandalorian helmet does have a, vi a pull down targeting visor well, when I pull it down I'm going to embed into it a small little two three megapixel camera okay and it's going to take a picture of someone okay and that picture will then get put onto the screen where I'll have a Python script that will run an overlay PNG over it and it'll be random as to what PNG it is whether there's a bounty for them or no bounty for them and so I'll, I'll stand there I'll scan them check I'll be like ah oh, there's a bounty on your head for not giving your mum enough hugs you know and just stuff like that just random things like oh you forgot to take the rubbish out you know it just just small things like that to get kids to laugh and giggle and and, and get just make everyone's time a better a better a better time all around i am a member of the mando mercs on facebook uh, i am a former member of the 501st i haven't done anything 501st related in years and i mean this years um and so i mean i don't even have my actual suit anymore i sold it uh in order to get some money together for me to move to the states uh, one of the other projects I'm going to be working on is this device right here. Now, this is a MindFlex uh, uh, device. Now, you can get these in the US. You can't get them here in the UK, okay? but you can, you can import them in, which is what I did. Trust me, it cost me £12.50 extra for VAT just for this little device, not including the £30 it cost me to buy the device. Uh, anyway, so let me turn that. There we go. And so I'm going to move this out of the way so you can focus on this. And simply put, this reads your alpha, delta, and gamma brainwaves. And then what it does, because you've given it three axi, you know, X, Y, Z, you can use it, in, in, according to the, the game that the device works for, you can use it to move uh, uh, devices on a screen, and things of that nature. Well, it sends it in a Bluetooth signal. And so my idea is to take a Bluetooth module signal, attach it to a microcontroller, Arduino, you know, I, I'm mostly going, going to be working with um, either a, a Arduino or, or a Raspberry Pi and hopefully try and get it to read my brainwave signals and then use it as a prototype device to move on with something else I'm trying to build uh, with the device and that is I'm trying to come up with a way to do a, a, a send and receive blu-ray uh, a signal system uh, on on something I really can't go into too much detail about it I really want to and I will when I'm doing it after I've filed certain patents because this is something I, I'm it, it's not just a passion project for me for me this is something that I, I want to try and and build and use to better people's lives um, so long story short um, I'll put it in layman's terms for you let me there we go I'll put it into some layman terms for you um, say you are paralyzed from a certain part of your body down but you had the ability to use your legs so you you were um, I don't know on a motorcycle accident and you broke your spine or it was a construction worker accident what my device that I'm trying to design and build will do is supplementally bypass the damaged spine what that means is it will take the send and receive signals from from your brain and then when your brain tries to send a signal from here to here where it's broken the signal gets lost it can't move forward it's a daisy chain well what i plan on doing doing is putting a device at the top and the bottom of where the spinal break is or, or the nerve damage is that way the brain can send still send the full signal 
so you'll be able to move your toes, your legs, things of that nature. Um, again, I've been working on something, I've been working on this device, on, on, on this project, for nigh on 15 years, off and on, off and on, um, ever since my ex-wife uh, 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 had spinal damage. Uh, my ex-wife suffers from lumbar spinal stenosis. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that is um, degenerative disc disease, or DDD for short. The cartilage in her discs are non-existent, so it's literally bone on bone. And she also has uh, brittle bone, which means those bone spurs are crack Her bones are breaking and, sp and and splintering, and those splinters are severing her nerve nerves. Okay, every time she walks, damage. Every time she turns damage every time she she does any kind of physical activity it causes damage and i felt it really bad i i know i'm very intelligent i know i i i can be very very smart i'm very much of a smart ass too i might add but a big part of me wanted to help her and what that means is this device would be surgically implanted if I get it to work it would be surgically implanted and the, then the person who is who does have spinal damage or nerve damage or limb damage will be able to lead a more fulfilling life that's pretty much it that's thank you for coming to my TED talk that's the idea behind this project um, but I was waiting for a commercially available uh, type of sensor, which is luckily inside this device. It's not as strong as the current sensors that are out there by today's standards, because this is from a board game from like eight years ago. But the point is, it's a start. It'll let me build a proof of concept model. And it will also allow me to file for the correct patents. So I can then protect my IP, so that I can then go to angel investors and get more prototypes built, more professional prototypes built, more quality prototypes built, and even at some point contact people who have been paralyzed, who are suffering uh, 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 chronic pain and various other things, and ask them would they be willing to be uh, par participants in, in tr medical field tri trials. If it works, great. I'm thinking not just in a civilian practice. I'm also thinking in a military practice. Um, again, I'm a veteran. Okay, I got discharged due to nerve damage, well, ACL damage in my knees, as well as uh, other conditions. I've been diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, and split personality disorder. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some wires wrong in my brain. And, but the point is, that doesn't stop me from wanting to help other people. Now, yes, me and my ex-wife split up. We, we, we fell out of love. It doesn't mean I don't want to see her suffer. It doesn't mean I, I, I want to see her in pain. So, she still is, in many retrospects, my goal for doing this. And, again, I just want to... I just don't want to see good people hurt or in pain. So that's my idea. And uh, so that's what this project's for. That's all I can really go into. I can't go into the technical spin. I can't go into the technical part of it, but I can give you the, the, the quick elevator pitch, so to say. And that was it. So other than that, um, I'm going to be doing a more detailed product review of the, the microscope. Um, once I've gotten a decent mount for it, because this starter mount for it, uh, let me just shrink the uh, starter mount that comes with it. Even even the company that has made it has said buy the other mount. I'm not even joking. It, they even advertised their other mount in the instruction manual. There you go. They even give you a product a product name for it. They they tell you to get the other mount that this mount is shit to get another mount 
and so uh, like I said I'm gonna be doing a lot of micro soldering I'm gonna be doing a lot of um, uh, uh, things, uh, a lot of soldering, electronics, things of that nature, and so I needed a really super, super close up uh, 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 micro, uh, microscope camera for the for the stream, for the content, and various other things. And so, excuse me, kill two birds one stone. And this is what I found, and it suits my budget. Mm, I'm so sorry. For some reason I'm just mm, there we go. And um, I want to uh, work on. Just getting everything done, uh, um, and so that I can get the 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 the, um, the project get the ball rolling. But I need to get a hot air rework station. I have found one on Amazon, but I'm waiting for my monthly bills to go out because again I'm on a limited income, a very limited income, and so I'm waiting on. Those, to, those bills to, to go out and whatnot and whatever's left, if I've got enough, I will buy myself a hot air rework station and that way I can start prototyping, I can start making them, doing YouTube content for you guys because like I said, I asked you guys, um, what do you want to see? And a lot of you guys said that you would love to see um, some more modeling and, and, and more, um, just more projects, what I'm doing outside of, 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 of Twitch streaming and whatnot. And so, well, pretty much this is it. Uh, I'm still 3D printing uh, uh, models. This is a, a M41 Walker Bulldog. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite uh, uh, tanks from the Vietnam era. And I, I, I love this bloody tank. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, it, I had to scale this up because this is like Pretty tiny scale, so I scaled it up to a, a size that I thought I could uh, get away with uh, printing and uh, um, just having a little bit of fun. And so, yeah, I'm gonna customize this up a little bit and paint it up. It's got the infrared light on, on, on it. Uh, this also this kit, this series of, of, of models that I found. There's also a Mark 46, a Mark 48 pattern. There's the M103, there's the T30, the T29, the T32, the T34, uh, American heavy tanks. Uh, so I was thinking about doing a little collection of, of, of those and doing a, uh, and doing like a, a, a Vietnam tribute to uh, uh, tanks from the Vietnam era. Uh, so the, the, the Nam Cold War era. So I never even found an IS-7 uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I, sorry, uh, IS-3 and IS-7 series uh, um, models as well that uh, I'll print and probably do like a, a East versus West uh, um, little diorama. But yeah, so I've got those going on. Um, this is a this is my very last customer's uh, 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 model query. She this is a rocket pug. It's actually a little pug uh, on a on a fart cloud. Um, she wanted two of them, so I've, I've got one that's a, a, a lot bigger than this one. And this one, these are uh, to go on her desk at work, because she has a pug. And uh, she misses her pug while she's at work, so you know, she gets to take her pug home with her. I do have Crypto Vipers Colossus down there. Uh, I'm gonna be start painting that here soon. This is, of course, my zombie Captain America, who, that's not finished, it's not even primed. I haven't even glued it, so there's that. Oh, there's the other. Uh, uh, the pug so yeah like i said these are going to get painted uh right here is my chaos renegade um guardsman there for my death guard army um my death guard army is just sitting in a box right literally over there can't really see it on the camera but in a box over there uh they're all primed all the miniatures are primed and rearing and waiting to go these are the last of the death guard miniatures that are uh, at the priming slash main stage next to uh, uh, ha having detail added to them, which is my Death Shroud Terminators. Uh, this is this was a, a Typhus model that I actually paid for. Um, it's not bad, but it's a little on the small scale side. And I mean, I even scaled this guy up compared to Death Shroud Terminators. As you can see, he's a little bit on the small side. 
Uh, I'm still going to keep him. I'm still going to have him for my, 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 for my collection. I'm not, and honestly, I'm not even a Typhus fan. Uh, I'm actually a fan, more, more of a fan of Mortarion. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Morty fan. Give me Mortarion any day of the week. Um, so that's what the Death Shrouds are for. Uh, Models-wise, this that's that's the only project next to because, like I said, the uh, uh, Chaos Knight is finished. Um, I also got this product to review. It is a small USB powered uh, uh, drill because I do have a regular Dremel, but the problem is, is as you know, the drill spins too fast for some some delicate delicate models, and the heat causes the plastic to melt not cut well this guy doesn't spin that fast uh, and it has no torque that's the only problem so what i might do is modify this give it a gearbox so it's got a little bit more oomph to it not speed wise but torque wise that way when i do apply it to the model to start sanding it doesn't go you know what i mean it's literally going to have a permanent good grinding ability um, so yeah, that will also help me uh, with my um, my Mandalorian Merc armor. Again, the the helmet should be here tomorrow. Uh, when it does get here, I will do another YouTube video for you guys to check out. Uh, like I said, this is just a small little content update on what's going on on my bench. Uh, all my paints are now actually in a nifty, huge little. Uh, I think it's like a fifty. It's not can't be 50 it, it's a it's it's a good 35 40 gallon tote i it managed to get all of my paints bar one because i forgot i had it out um but it's more than enough room for it to put all of my my model art and paint supplies in there with the exception of my brushes of course because you always need brushes for something but um yeah I've, I've got tons of projects on the go ready to go this is an old hard drive that i have to try and resurrect because there is some private data on here that i need really really bad i do have one of those uh, external docks and it does read the drive but the drive has a weird click it's not a, a, a spinning click of doom it's try it, it reads the data just fine but when i try to transfer it the speeds just dramatically drop from like you know megabytes to like beyond dial up slash reading to a floppy drive so I don't know what's going on there. I've got to figure that out. Once I've figured that out, I'll be able to get some. There's like, there's a good 40, 50 gigs worth of uh, video content uh, on that uh, 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 500 gig drive. Um, also, uh, I'm waiting on the vinyl stencils to get here from the cut, uh, printing company just around the corner from me. I will be doing another live. I'll be doing actually, I'll be doing it live. It's a live stream of me chemically etching glass and showing you guys how to do it uh, so you can put custom logos and stuff on anything from the side, your, your, your glass panel on your computer all the way up to a personalized glass for your father for your mother for your partner uh, so like i said guys there's going to be a little bit of an arts and craft arts and crafts uh, stream thrown in as well for the shits and giggles as they say but yeah i'm gonna end this video here i'm gonna immediately just upload it straight away so no editing on this one guys but please you know I am alive, please stick around. I am sorry that content hasn't been getting out as much as I want to, uh, mostly because, again, I'm a one-man band. I have to record, I have to edit, I have to, 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 I have to do everything by myself, pretty much. So, and it sucks, it does suck, but that's life. So, anyway, guys, I am gonna end this video with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shows fine, keep your enemies dying, your cover commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.